Hey guys, welcome to Opioid Cards Workshop. How is everyone doing? So, anyways, hope you guys, hopefully, you guys liked the last video. And, uh, anyways, this is uh, my next project. So, no point telling you what it is. You can see on the box what it is. So, um, we're making this into an old school gasser. We got some ideas now. I found some stuff. Uh, some picture and stuff I like to replicate it look like well I mean all that is try to get as close to the pictures I am thinking about and I've seen and um, yeah it's a good old gasser uh, we're gonna basically use the parts we have with the kit like all this fancy hood scoop baloney that's on there um, you know it is what it is it has lots of good parts in it probably don't have to explain too much about it because you guys have seen this kit about 10 gazillion times so um, dual four barrel carbs. Hmm. Anyways, kind of a, a funky system, but it is what it is. Um, we might change this out here, maybe, and maybe just put a, a big snorkel on there. You know, the old school style blower. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, bee catcher. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So we try to use as many parts as we can from the kit, not to stray away too much from it. I will have to do a few more mods to get it looking the part. I don't know what the hell that was. Something. But yeah. It's actually it's a very, very nice kit in general. Uh, 56, I think actually the 56 Ford Victoria is probably one of my favorites in the Ford family in these years, other than the trucks, of course. But they're all, they all, all look really, really nice. And it's tell you something which is kind of ironic. I seen it's kind of off topic, but I seen an old '50s Ford uh, this weekend, four door, and someone fixed it up, and it actually looked really really cool. I mean, you know, I think the '50s, '50s <clears throat> and even '60s uh, four door cars are coming uh, into play, and a lot of people are fixing them up, and actually look really really cool. Anyways, there you have it. So. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for this project coming up and then we're going to do our best to show you guys what, I've, what I'm doing on it but you know how I go with that so and um, also a shout out also I want to talk about is um, uh, which is shout outs in a minute uh, talk, I want to talk about also the uh, all my new subscribers and all the new all the comments likes and shares to my videos I appreciate it. Uh, I I had talked about maybe doing a giveaway, uh, but you know I just uh, maybe we'll block that uh, part of the video out. Anyways, uh, yeah. So um, yeah, thanks for all those. Yeah. And also, um, I wanted to uh, talk about the um, all the new people coming into the uh, community. I see lots of new people, uh, lots of new builders coming on, um, young and old. Well, it's just nice to see the younger folks taking taking uh, liking to the uh, hobby. It's uh, great to see that. I like to see more of uh, more younger folks taking to this uh, hobby, this great hobby of ours. But you know, um, model kits and supplies are very expensive nowadays. So uh, you know, we have to do what we have to do. You know, even though even though if you have to get a part-time job to supply your uh, supply money for your hobby, <laughs> never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> so, all right. And um, in my last uh, video, I talked talking about someone I haven't seen on time. And I apologize if I got the name screwed up, but I was thinking about the Lazy Eyed Modeler. Uh, I have not seen videos from him in quite a long time. Um, YouTube just, I don't know, they're not, it's hard to see um, the old the other guys that are posting. And get, once you get to a lot of subscribers, you start seeing that problem, right? But I don't know. But I haven't seen anything from him in a while, so I was wondering how retirement is treating him and how he's doing and such. You still build the models, or you sold everything and moved to uh, uh, some warm place in the United States. Who knows? Um, but uh, anyways, that's all to say for now, and uh, stay tuned for this um, little project uh, coming up in the near future. 
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.